and this is Tracy from Hattie's Attic. Today's a TGIF Friday, finally a weekend off. Although I won't be working for clients, I will still be busy, but I will be busy on stuff for Hattie's Attic, stuff for the blog, getting ready for Hobby Fest. The list never ends. But it will be fun stuff to work on, a change of pace, and I do look forward to it. So let's get the day started. I started feeling a little bit, for lack of a better term, wonky. So I thought maybe I should probably get me something to eat. It is around noon. I usually don't eat lunch. I just grab a little bit of bite of this or that if I get even that. But I'm thinking maybe I need to change that because I haven't been feeling too well lately. And so I got me some leftover mac and cheese from last night and some sliced cucumbers with ranch dressing. So we'll see if that works. Hopefully it'll be just what the doctor I am so tired today, it is not even funny. I don't feel like doing anything. I, that 11 hours yesterday about wore me out. I, all I can think about is I've got an hour and a half left and then I can nap. Turns out I don't get my whole weekend off. I do have to work a few hours on Sunday, which is fine. Just more money to spend on stuff that I need to order. But I would have liked to have the two days off, but I do have Saturday off. I do get to spend some time with friends, so it's all good. I'm really not sure how I'm going to work my schedule. I told myself I'd sit down and work it out this week. I haven't done it. I don't know how I'm going to work it out. I have not the slightest idea to get things done for Hobby Fest, for the shop, and still work for my clients. But where there's a will, there's a way. I mean, I will get it done. It's just that it's not going to be easy figuring it out, planning it out. I was supposed to get my button machine today and my new mic. I'm waiting anxiously for them to arrive. They both said they'd be here by the end of day and it depends on who they're sending it through to what end of day is. The mail's already run so it's not coming through the postal service. So end of day could mean midnight here for FedEx and UPS. So still waiting, anticipating, wanting to unbox it. I'll videotape unboxing both of them really wanting to try the new mic out. I've been playing around with the button template program online with the company that I bought my button maker from. It's another learning curve, but it's not going to take as long or be as hard as I, the other ones have been. So that's a good thing. But in the meantime, just still waiting for them to be delivered. Any time now. I've got five minutes left on the phones for today and then I'll be off the rest of the day and Partially tomorrow. I'm going to go see some friends at lunch and then I've got to get some other client work done. But I will be off these phones and I will not be tethered to this computer all day, which is great. I feel like I've been tethered to it for about eight months now. So it's really starting to wear on me. Um, I still haven't received my shipments of my two items yet. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to get them today like they said I would. I was hoping I would. UPS doesn't run tomorrow, I don't think. Saturday, so I'd have to wait until Monday, and I really don't want to. I so hope they get here so I can unbox them and see how they are and get to know them and have some fun with them. <laughs> I didn't really feel like doing much of anything. My foot's kind of hurting from an injury. So I decided to go in and update and add some tags to all my videos before they got to be so many that it would be a chore. It's already a chore, but it needs to be done. Coming up with the tags is the hardest part for me. So I have some basics that I'm using on each one. And then after that, I kind of go with whatever the video's about, just a few of them. So I'm hoping it'll work out that way, that it'll show up better in searches and it might help my views. I wanted to try and put my intro into all of my existing videos but the problem with that was I would have to recreate a video. I would lose my views. I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to just insert it manually from here on out on each one. That way I can control it better. And I think it'll just do better. I'm sorry for the lighting right now. The sun's going in and out behind the cloud. And I have to have my windows open to have adequate lighting to videotape. So it's glaring at times. And I do apologize. But that's about the best I can do right now with what I have to work with. 
I had contemplated taking a walk, but it is so warm and so muggy that I think maybe I'll just hold off. I don't know if it's supposed to pull down any this weekend or the next coming week. I'll just kind of play it by ear and take my chance. My foot is still hurting anyways. It's from an injury I incurred. I dropped a table on it a few weeks back, and I think I fractured something because it swells every now and then and it does hurt. So I try not to antagonize that too much. I try and move around as much as I can, but where I have a job on the computer during the day here out of the home, it's kind of hard to get too much exercise. I'm sitting a lot. So in the evenings, I do walk around here and there a little bit. I do walk the girls a little bit, depending on how they feel, if they want to walk. If they don't want to, I don't press the issue. They're 14 years old. They've got bulging discs in their back, and I can cannot even begin to understand the kind of pain they have. They do take a pain medication, but I'm sure it just probably takes the edge off. It doesn't take care of all of it. They do walk tippy-toed now, which show, does indicate that they are having some pain or some numbness one. Not sure why. They do walk tippy-toed now, which indicates they are having either some pain or some numbness. I'm not sure which one. It really doesn't matter, so I don't press the issue on walks. I got our room reserved yesterday for Comic-Con 2017 in Lexington. I got so jazzed last night after reserving the room. We got a real nice room. It's only five minutes from the convention. I'm taking the girls with us because we're going for three days and two nights. And we're sharing a room. And so I had to get as close as I could to the convention and still have a hotel that had a good reputation and no bad reviews as far as bed bugs or flea infestations. It had to be pet friendly. There was a lot of things that it had to be. And I found one within the price range that I was willing to pay. And I got so jazzed, and then I realized, well, that's like March of next year, which is still like seven months away. And I kind of felt like Sheldon and Leonard on Big Bang Theory when they talked about San Diego Comic Con, how it was only nine months away. So, yeah, I'm jazzed. I still am. I'm glad that that's something taken care of. I don't have to worry about that now. I'm glad I found one that would take the girls and that had everything we needed. So, and my friends are kind of getting excited about it too. We discussed it last night for a while and decided on that hotel. We had another one reserved, but when I started looking up the reviews on it, it was really bad. And I started looking up some pictures that uh, people who'd been there had left in reviews and they were really bad. So this one is one of those extended stay suites where you can rent it for a few days or you can rent it for a month if you're on a business trip. So it has a bedroom with a door on it. It has a living room with a sofa bed and a complete kitchen. So it's nice. It was a little bit pricey, but it was worth it. I don't have to worry about the girls. They're five minutes away from the convention. I can go every couple hours to check on them. The only thing I'm really worried about is they don't want your dogs to be noisy. My girls are kind of whiners at night, so we'll see how that goes. We're only staying two nights, so I figure by the time they get ready to kick us out, we'll be gone anyways. <laughs> so not to worry. I'm not going to. At first, I was stressing on that, but then I decided don't stress on it. Just go with the flow, enjoy yourself, and get jazzed. It would appear that Facebook is down right now, which is kind of inconvenient because the friend I'm meeting for lunch tomorrow with her son, that's really the way I communicate the most with her is through Messenger. So I'm hoping it comes back up so I can make sure that we're still on for the time we agreed on, that they're still going to be able to make it so I don't make a 30 to 45 minute trip to Paintsville for nothing. I mean, I don't like going to begin with, traveling that far. Uh, for them, I'll do it, but I usually won't do it for much of anything else. So I want to make sure that it's not a wasted trip. I was on the Nerd Block and the Loot Crate sites today. I was browsing around. This is about the third day I've looked at them, and I finally decided to go ahead and subscribe to one month of the Loot Crate, see what it's like. But while I was in there, I noticed they had a crate for Firefly, right up my alley. Big Firefly fan here broke my heart when they canceled the series and for a while I was mad at Joss Sweden. I really was. I've been with a fan of his since Buffy but boy he really got on my bad side with Firefly. But since then he's done the Marvel thing so we can overlook Firefly for a little while. I would like to see a reunion come back but then if they did they'd be without Wash and I love Wash. I didn't like the way they ended with him but I thought about maybe subscribing to Nerd Block as well but I'm still deciding on that one. I do. I did sign up for email for both of them, 
So I will get their emails and I'll probably sign up for their Facebooks too to see if there's any kind of specials down the road. But it's going to be another almost two months before I get my first loot crate. So it's going to be a long wait, but I'll probably forget about it by the time it comes, so it'll be a whole surprise anyways. So that's good. Hey baby, are you ready for night, honey? Please baby, ready for night, night. I just had such a rough day, perhaps. Leave them little ears all turked back. Chris had her pills with her inside her chi chi. Oh, treach it. Oh, mercy, hooray, night nights. Love, it's hard. You will lay there until I go? Okay. A few more things. So I think I'm going to call it an evening. Even though I don't have to work for any clients tomorrow, 5 o'clock in the morning comes very early. Still lots to do around the house here before I go out for my lunch date with my friends. I've been researching a few other things. I'm going to sit down tonight while I'm in bed watching Two Broke Girls, figure out a list of what I'd like to get done, and then I'm going to transfer it to my calendars and see what's really feasible. So until then, thank you so much for watching YouTube. This is Tracy from Hattie's Attic, and you have a good evening.